Trey, we want to talk more about crime in big cities on the rise, cities like New York, Baltimore, Chicago, which is where our network is located. We're joined right now by Vondell Singleton, founder and CEO of Champs Male Mentoring. Thank you so much for being here live in studio. I see you're repping Chicago with your sweatshirt, too. You. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to bring this story to real life because we in the news, we talk about these statistics. Clearly, it's a concern for Americans. We have our News Nation exclusive polling. But folks like you, you're actually with organizations you found organizations that are here to address the real-world implications of violence. So what are you seeing yourself in cities like Chicago where things have changed over the past couple of years? Yeah, so we're seeing high numbers of gun violence in Chicago. Um, unfortunately, just dealing with the loss of one of my mentees who was shot and killed at the Bain downtown. Um, and so for me, this hits home because my whole life is spent creating solutions around social emotional learning, mental health, leadership development, exposure trips. And when it happens, you start at step one all over again. Mm -hmm. So the pain and the hurt and the agony that not only his peers, but his family, his mom said, I've never done a funeral. Mr. Singleton, can you help me plan my baby's funeral? Wow. Hearing those types of words, it, it, it makes you say, all right, where's the help? Who's going to help? What are the solutions? How can we get ahead? so we can prevent things like this from happening. That young man, 16 years old, killed by, I believe, a 17-year-old at Millennium Park, which is right here, a very popular tourist location, uh, someplace that you wouldn't necessarily see uh, something like this go down. But is there anywhere safe? I mean, are we seeing this crime that, again, in Chicago has been kind of uh, something the South Side has been famous for, trickling sure. into more parts of the neighborhood where they, we, we thought we were safe. I mean, we've seen more carjackings in the city. I know the mayor has talked about that here. We've seen violent crime like you're talking talking about murders. Uh, in fact, I think we have some statistics really quick here. Uh, according to Chicago police, uh, there have been 207 murders and there were 223 in 2021. So while we could say it's down, but we still have more than half of the year to go. So it is crime becoming more widespread in Chicago? Absolutely. I mean, you see it, you hear about it, but the problem that I have is when it happens on the south side or the west side, it should be the same outcry as it happens downtown or the Gold Coast or Lincoln Park. And so I think what we're starting to see is the urgency behind, you know, getting resources around violence, prevention and intervention. Mentorship is prevention. I've been saying for 10 years since we've been running this program, give me the resources that we need in order to subside. I need to have full time mentors mm -hmm. that are really passionate and serious about prevention so we don't have to do as much intervention. But what are these young men and women getting pulled into? I mean, you could, we can point fingers and we can blame, right? But we need those preventive, proactive approaches to community. Sure. Are they bored, like we've heard people say? Was it the virtual learning that pushed some of them into gangs and carjackings and, and violence? Or is this just a big domino effect of several issues, including poverty? And I, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm the product of a single motherhood. I mean, really, there are a lot of young men that don't have a dad and don't have a male role model. So for me, it's different because I'm born and raised on the south side of Chicago. I grew up in Ida B. Wells housing projects. My mom suffered. Uh, through crack cocaine addiction and she had a great heart but she had no one to cuff her when she was young so i buried my mom when i was 14 she was wow. only 29. my father was in prison i became a ward of the court a ward of the state and so my empathy level was at a at a different level i became an assistant principal and saw a need a gap that many homes that represented the south and west side with boys and young men of color didn't have a positive male role model so their environment right that was conducive to getting into the streets or carrying a gun and they have the greatest hearts in the world so again the investment the opportunities that we need to see and have still persists and so it's just exasperated through the pandemic yeah and again it was like the problems were still there but as we've heard with many issues that in social ills that we've been reporting here they were exacerbated uh, by the past couple of years thank you so much uh, for you. your work give us your website really quick i know we're out of time www.champsmentoring.com Dot com. Champsmentoring.com, because we really do need to raise young people to be champions. Thank you again. Uh, reality check uh, for so many of us. Violence and the real life implications. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.